kuna yule maana acta big citizen this uh, somewhere i'm likuwa spotted na ye. <laughs> they are not my words <laughs> ilitembea kwa mtandao ikasemekana <laughs> kuna venye wa kenya wako na tufununu eh lazima wa, wa, wa verify uh, eh ikaanza kutembea nika kuna you have something you eh bekin mali safi bro <laughs> <laughs> kama kawaida ni ndani ya Ramli Production na wananiita PR mkipenda presenter Ramsi mazina kila siku kinipa shavu nitakupa shavu shukran sana kwa kuendelea kuwatch hizi video zetu mazee ku comment na kushare fanya hivyo hivyo kwa hii video tafadhali kwa sababu wewe ndio umetushikilia kuna mtu mwingine ametushikilia na kila siku huwa ninazunguka hapa na pale e, kuweza kukuletea wale watu ambao na enzi wale watu ambao unapenda watu ambao wanafanya vitu za maana kwenye society na leo nimepata na jamaa fulani mu amazing tu na ujama umemuona kila mahali na by the way nimekutana tu na watu wawili weusi kwa maisha yangu na nikifanya hii job wa kwanza ni Uncle Fredo Batch Machoka wa pili niko naye hapa ningependa bro ujitambulisho tuambie unaitwa nani hiyo ni compliment na niko sure kama mtu hajakuona niko sure kama kuna mtu hajai kuona yeah. labda ana TV okay, lakini yeah. siku ubaya au ni mwaka mpya utapata ka TV watu watu wanunua TV yes ah. <laughs> before ni introduce kwanza ya yeah, chani kuleze uko na uko na Kiswahili nyingi hiyo yeah. hiyo point hiyo ni ni nisijuni msemo mnaita ukinipa shafu nitakupa shafu hiyo yeah. hey, inamaanisha ni yani ukinipa tu respect nitaku respect una venye tumekuja kan respect na ni meku respect hivyo tu ainanga historia moja ukinipa shafu nitakupa shafu ah hivyo tu si ndio shafu hiyo yeah. so ukinipa nakupa hiyo nyingine <laughs> so kile umenipatia nitakupatia <laughs> sawa sawa hiyo <laughs> tu ndio nilipata hiyo tu ndio nilikuwa nataka <laughs> ku point out lakini <laughs> eh mimi naitwa Moka Junior <laughs> ah kwa nyawani juu wengi eh, wengi wenye nyawani juu yes wachache wenye wako juu wachache wachache wenye nyawani juu au kuna chocha wewe wachache wenye nyawani juu ama wasio ni jua um, mimi naitwa Moka Junior mini tv presenter na digital content creator before anything okay yeah very okay. briefly that is who i am <laughs> nyuma tu kidogo kasturi kako tu kafupi mm. mkoa ni nani like uh, wacha na huyu mkoa tunaona kwa tv mkoa ni nani pale nyuma ya curtains mkoa is a dream come true acha niseme hivyo ha. because it's been a lot uh, sami shida yangu ni bebe kiswahili niko nje bro sijui ka listeners wako wanaza ndio hicho 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 tu uko nacho kidogo hiyo tu eh, tumia hicho hicho uh, juu mimi ufilo na kizungu sana nitajipata nitajipata na digress mm. um mukavila nimesema is a dream come true mimi ni kijana aliyezaliwa kwa familia ya vijana watatu mimi ndio middleborn and um we 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 have we have gone through stuff you know like to develop the name mokaya to what it is um today uh, a name that is recognized by wase wengi eh uh, jina yenye inatambulika and hiyo ni story in a date back um for about the last 13 years because i think the last 13 years ndio has been my discovery journey um me always knew uh, maybe maybe story yangu mi naweza ianzia Raima so because hapo ndio nilianza kujijua unajua mtu anaongeleleanga mali mm, ianza kujitambua eh, penye umeanza kujitambua yeah. mi nilianza kujitambua vile nilikuwa class 6 class 6 nilikuwa galoresho shule inaitwa galoresho primary um on oyakiwe eh, that is where i did my class 6 7 and 8 hapo ndio nilifanyia um my you know kcp squeeze ni toki z wali change si kcp squeeze squeeze tuna deal na ma cbc ma zini nini wanaiita but hiyo uh, wani kesema kcp uh, watu wanajua ni nini naongelea so ulianza kujitambua classics classics mzee unajua sasa hivi mtoto anajitambua tu amezaliwa tu hivi hakuna kitu tamwambia Eh, Ai, na anajijua vizuri sana. Wewe okay. hey, hizi Guinness lienda. Generation, the oh, generation zimechezo bwana. Baka classics. Eh, baka classics. Uh-huh. Cause classics ndio nili me, me I think self identity yangu ile kama vile nilingia adolescent. Mm. Unaona vile nilingia into adolescent ndio nilianza kukua na ideologies, ndio nilianza ku think independently, ndio nilianza ku challenge norms. Unaona? I, I think hiyo ndio time yenyewe nilirealize that by the way 
mimi niko to destined for greatness yani ni vile sasa at that age you don't know how to bring it out unaona kila kitu yenye unafanya at that point in time inaka ujeuri unaona for lack of a better word but it's at that point that me nilijua um shule was never going to be my thing okay mm, your class 6 hiyo mm. ndio nilijua mimi hii kitu inaitwa shule mm. ah hapa si kwangu but finally ulienda through ni well because una choice kiboko unaona ama uamuzi uliongeleshwa uh, i uh, naweza sema naweza sema ni ile kukubali tu una option unaona juu na check at class 6 wewe bado uko kwa mzazi wako au jajisimamia au na kitu unaona so condition ni na unajua wazazi wetu wanaelewa juu wazazi wetu hivyo ndio hiyo ndio generation wale grow nayo wanajua hauna success in life kama hauna papers uh, unaona uh. na you can't blame them for that juu hivyo ndio wanajua unaona like wazazi wetu wale grow kwa generation yenye industrialization ndio ilikuwa ina happen and as a continent industrialization ndio ili to sustain na system ya industrialization ni africans generally tulikuwa wafanyikazi so wazazi wetu wali grow wakijua the only way ku survive ni kufanya kazi ulipata history Umar... ngapi kufa eh? ulipata history ngapi eh hizo ma industrialization ni bana zisikia tu huko history class nilikuwa napenda history by the juu nili understand from a very young age that always you jua penye unaenda kwa uji penye umetoka unaona ni trends una study trends katulianzia katulianzia hapa na tuko hapa sasa hizi it's very easy to tell penye tunaenda Kwele, you get you uh, can't just blindly look forward without making references to your mbona gari iko na side mirror bro singe kwa tu na mm. na windshield mm. eh yeah. like lazima tu tumekizo references yeah. za penye tumetoka ndio tujue pia tunaenda unaona uh. so for me hivyo ndio ili play out nilikuwa najua that nili understand uh, the system of our you know our curriculum from a very young age because me ni look me look all say wa ku challenge um thinking so cause me for for the longest time ever i used to think that akili yangu tu by the kuna vile iko cast ju me 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 sifikiri yangu normal yani watu wakifikiria hivi eh mimi nataka tu kuwa different for some reason all along me I always wanted to be different you get si siko ya understand kwa nini eh well yeah. positively definitely sio ile like uh, mtu uvukie kwa zebra crossing lakini unasema na yeza vukia mahali popote well okay let me explain it this way una cheki um because unaona definition definition ya positive na negative na hizi definitions zilikuwa tu put in place with someone Unaona the best way to put it is unaona hii barabara yenye kila mtu anafuata unaona tuseme thicker road eh thicker road at some point in time haikukua barabara unaona haikukua barabara when all these was you know tulikuwa tu earth kuna mtu alikaa hivi akafikiria akasema we by the barabara inaweza pita hapa unaona sasa wakati huyo mtu alikuwa anafikiria do you really think alikuwa supported Ju before fikirie watu walikuwa nafikiria a certain way. Hmm. Unaona? Hmm. Watu walikuwa wajua ati hivi ndio kuna endaga sisi hatujui kama barabara inaweza pita hapa penye wewe unasema. Na until tuone ikipita sisi tutafanya tu kia tunajua. Tunajua. You get? So mimi ni huyo msee. So in short zile vitu watu wamezoea kufanya wewe utakufanya. Thank you. Uh, Unatakufanya vitu upya ukama up na vitu mpya. Difference. Okay. Unanielewa uh, sasa. Uh, yeah. And and I knew that for from a very young age ni kitu nilijua kutoka kitambo sana that mimi siko tu comfortable kufanya Kenya kila mtu anafanya. Wewe we, unaweza thani ni right, unaweza define ka right. Lakini mimi what you call right is what everyone else is doing you get the fact that i want to try something new and you call it wrong is not my problem unaona lakini mimi conviction yangu iko kwa sitafanya yani sina tu amani kufanya kenye kila mtu anafanya mimi nataka tu kufanya vitu zangu unaona ka kila mtu uh, uh, another analogy unachiki vile tulikuwa high school 
e, discipline definition ya discipline ni kila mtu kutakini mm. unaona mm. kila mtu kila mtu kutakini kwa assembly tukienda tuna line up mm. unaona hiyo thinking ndio inafanya watu wanapanga ma line sa hizi archives walking ngoja gari <laughs> 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 I, i mean mm. You know, yeah. but sasa mimi niko uncomfortable na hiyo idea. Mimi hadi sasa hizi siwezi panga line. Yeah. Okay, sina gari bado, lakini hiyo na kuonyesha that hapo pa una gari hapana. Nitasema ukweli. Hapo bro, acha hapo pa una gari hapana. Ako nayo. Lakini point yangu ni <laughs> point yangu ni hiyo ndio inakuonyesha that wewe by the uko tu uko tu destined to define vitu unaona cuz misfanyike kila mtu anataka mi nataka kufanya vitu vile akili yangu inaniambia na mi naamini system ya akili yangu mi siamini system ya mtu mwingine mwenye anataka kunifunza kitu so mi ni kinyoa kipara wewe nyole yako eh mi niko tu sawa vile niko na hii ni ni bid <laughs> Eh hey bro, si juju. Usupasta bro, usupasta. Si usupasta garama. Ah. Juju ni nini? Bado nimesikia kitu more than twice. Mm. Juju ni nini? Ni kale tu kwa kitu kanashikilianga mtu but unaamini do you believe in? No, na believe tu jina juju na jua ni na zaidi divine. Lakini kama ina divine is divine juju. Ah. Story for another day. Thank so, Mukaya. Unajua sasa hivi umekuwa superstar. Yeah. Eh, kuna wale watu umepitia kwa mikono yao, nini na nini? Primary ulisomea wapi? Loresho. Loresho. Eh, so, kwa nini umezaliwa huko Nairobi? Hapana. Ah. Mimi ni mtoto wa Shags. Shags ni wapi? Eh, Nyanza. Pande gani? Sema eh, wajivunie. Unajua sasa hivi Mongori, watu wa Mongori. Ovi wazo huko ni wa mashinani. Eh, wote kila, wa... kila mahali. Ah, yeah. nice. Yeah. So watu wa Mongori mm. pale hivyo Nyanza, huko mm. ndio mimi nilizaliwa na ndio nilelewa for my for my infant years. Mm. Um, nikiwa mtu hii until vile sasa tuliingia class 5 mm. ndio tukakuja jijini. Mm, okay. Then sasa nikaingia Bora, mm. nikaingia St Joseph after mm. Bora, mm. Bora Primary kwa hapa West. Okay. Then after St Joseph ndio nikaenda Loresho sasa class 6. Mm. Then hiyo discovery phase ya class 6, 7 and 8 niki have all these thoughts and everything nikamaliza kutoka Loresho nikaingia Tala High School. Tala High School is in Ukambani. Mm. And um, sasa hapa hivi ndio hii difference ilianza ku manifest. Mm. Unaona? So ni, high school umesomea ngapi? Nilikuwa ni, nilikuwa shule tofauti kila mwaka bro. Sababu ya thinking yako tofauti eh, tu well, hiyo hiyo time mm. tukiwa high school um, ilikuwa ilikuwa put ilikuwa yani ilikuwa put kama kama monotony ka notoriousness you know ka kukua noti mm. unaona mm. lakini and for a while by the it even for some season we'll get into that story mm. it even sent me into depression for a while mm. lakini now looking back niko like by the mishi dangu ni ati nilikuwa too different na wase mm. so kuna ati... chujua unaenda shule nyingine eh, nilikuwa eh, nilichujua nili, zi yeah, form one nili form one nilichujua Um, from two nilienda juu ya drama festivals um, na from there nimetembea tembea kwa mashule juu ya drama festivals mm. eh, juu sasa from two ndio ni realize niko ndio ni tap into my talent sasa ndio nikaanza ku quote spoken nika discover stage performances so, and i got really good at it i got really good at acting hapo ndio nili nili harness eh, craft yangu na talent yangu high school sasa high school sasa shule gani ya uh, okay so nilianza na tala high school then tunahesabu tu ile ulimalizia yeah, okay sawa so, <laughs> so after 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 tala form form for nilienda kumalizia ushago kabisa juu na juu mtembeanga kwa mashule hadi unachosha watu wako like ah uyaenda nyumbani huko wataka mm, shule gani hiyo ya ushago so huko nilienda kumalizia eh nili nilipitia Nyansiongo Nyansiongo Boys High School then nikaenda kumalizia Rio Mego Rio, Rio Mego is now a very distant school Rio Mego unakumbuka mwalimu wako ya hesabu hiyo shule ulimalizia hesabu siko nampenda unamkumbuka uh, no ah. no le jina ah. 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 anaitwaje yes i think anaitwa Uh, yes yes namkumbuka lakini jini imenitoka na sikuwa nampenda mm, mwenye nakumbuka mwenye nakumbuka ni wa drama 
mode wangu wa drama na namkumbuka na nampenda na namheshimu that gentleman is Mr. Robert Onyancha wonderful gentleman huyo ndio huyo ndio mwalimu pekee yake amenielewa um, maisha yangu yote basically wa hesabu aje kusaidia ah. na huna hesabu aje pesa bro ai no, ma, si 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 no, si knowledge mgote tu na kujiji na ju imetoka hapo si mpendi bro so mpendi mwa hesabu wa hesabu wa chemistry sikukumbuki <laughs> lakini wao <wajos> sikupendi <laughs> sawa sikupendi hakuna ah, haja tu wa hesabu wa chemistry wa Kiswahili cuz hao walimu wali ni stress bro hao walimu wali ni stress hao walimu wali make maisha yangu high school hell viboko hata viboko si mimi si wapendi mimi yeah. na sasa hii wapenda <laughs> kwa hivyo <laughs> eh, mokaya nimalizia yeah. shule huko kwenye umesema huko mashinani okay, yes. eh, na umeanza kujitambua mm. unafanya drama nini mm. na nini uliendelea na masomo after hiyo hapana ah. well Kwa okay eh, sa, after after high school siku well siku pass mm. sawa like like eh uh, ulikuwa na kanga api ebro nilikuwa na d nilikuwa na d minus ah si hb kangi kusema yeah. because i define life yangu unaona yeah, okay. nilikuwa na d minus lakini mini tv presenter sasa hizi okay. inaumiza nani mwalimu hesabu <laughs> eh mwalimu hesabu <laughs> niko hapa sasa hapa ni wapi hapa ni wapi <laughs> kwenda huko mwalimu simpendi guy anyway <laughs> eh so si kuendelea and and hiyo hiyo like unaona kujijua kujijua ili ni help ili ni help sana um ku sustain myself after that demena because baadhi acha niambie wasenyo na mada high school eh acha niongeleshe grade yenye unapata after form 4 i could define hata kidogo because hiyo ni mtu mwingine anasema at here akili yako iko graded hivi unaona kama mimi bro hiyo high school tulifunzwa chem tukafunzwa physics tukafunzwa biology tukafunzwa history tukafunzwa geography tukafunzwa Kiswahili kuchanganua sentensi inakusaidia aje saizi maishani unasema physics uh, ikusaidia takido where ya bwana uchukue maji ushike stima na mwingie eh, sa hiyo inanichangia pesa aje eh? no as in like no. a, uh, well i get your argument uh, i get your <laughs> argument the basic applications of physics lakini lakini my benefit right now is how well i am able to pay taxes mm. you get mm. that is my that is my definition of because whether or not i plug in water to an electric current am i dead see i'm still alive mm. see i'm surviving how do i survive in kenya by having money mm. You get. hizo eh, so ndio norms nilikuwa na challenge na hizo ndio vitu zilikuwa zinaniweka tu in logger heads na walimu. Mm-hmm. Juu mwalimu unanifunzaje we mwenyewe ni mwalimu na unalipwa 15k. Mimi vision yangu ni ya ku take over world na kuendesha malambo gini zenye zina zina cost upwards of 40 million Kenyan shillings. Huyo mm-hmm. mwalimu ataniambia nini? Unajua ni the same na venye utasema Eh, ile ume, uko kwa gari ile migwi na kanyaga matope na imekubeba hapa na milioni zako like sasa hiyo hiyo hizo hizo taya za zina umuhimu no at, at at no point at no point will i say i wasn't thankful for that mm-hmm. so lakini point ya najaribu ku drive ni it was cause una check in ingeanza ku channel effort yangu to talent yangu nikiwa form 1 bila kukua wasted kufanya physics Singe kwa penye niko saizi ningekuwa like four years ahead of my career curve unaona i'm not at any point sidelining hiyo foundation ya academia because hata mse yote mwenye ako shule saizi mimi encourage maliza shule like maliza shule because kumaliza shule itakufanya you understand principles nyingi sana za life, za life unaona yeah. lakini sasa problem ni system yetu inakuwaya ku waste more of your time than kukupea value nonetheless unacheki out of the system that we currently have in the country of education you will get you will get 30% value and 70% time wasted mm-hmm. una get i'm not sidelining this 30% for any fact because without this 30% i i couldn't be speaking to you the way i am without my understanding of english So, uh, like I needed to go to school to be literate. Unaona? Now that literacy 
is that 30%. See it in a sema, now completely 100% is always a complete waste of time. So killer mwanafunzi, maliza shule, regardless of by the way, anyone who is under the age of 20 years, if you're not in school, you're making really stupid decisions with your life because that school is very necessary for your fundamentals in life. I got those fundamentals, but what I am bitter about is my time wasted while getting the fundamentals too. Una get point yangu sasa? Nakupata. Yeah. Kile kitu ambacho unajaribu kusema ni kwamba shule zetu ziweko in a way that uh, hey, uh, unasoma you. na una promote una, kama una progress. Unaona? Tusikona shule zenye zina punish wase juu ya kufail. Unaona? Cuz failure is what builds success. Success is built out of failure. Lakini shule zetu ziko wired kukufanya believe kufail ni kitu mbaya. Sana. That's that's my whole problem. Because you don't succeed in anything without failing. Huyo mwalimu mwenye anakukataza kufail ati ukianguka hesabu amekuwekea wrong, unaitwa staff room kuchapwa, yeye mwenyewe amefail kukuwa mwalimu in the first place. If anything yeye ndiye anafaa kupigwa hiyo kiboko. Juu ume fail in life una earn 15k na uko busy hapa hivi una si ati na disrespect lakini principle ya life principle ya life ni greater than that unaona when you're destined for greater things bro you understand the magnitude of your potential sasa mimi na feel ni ka if my potential was tapped into upon your bitterness yangu inatokea cuz if i had a system that tapped into my potential sooner Saizi ningekuwa maybe 10 years ahead of my career curve. Kariya yangu saizi ingekuwa imeandika upwards of 55k people wenye wako jobless saizi wangekuwa napiga kazi na Moka Junior Entertainment na wangekuwa poa. Hapo ndio bitterness yangu inatokea. Sasa Moka ya CBC may come through. Let's uh, hope it has changed. May come. Mm. So far hii yenye umeona mahali imefikia sasa hivi unaona inasaidia? Niko na shida na well CBC is placed um, right so like like initiative na na intention yake iko sawa shida ni watu wenye wana implement cause imekuwa politicized like it's a political thing no matter anything that is tied to politics iko na political interests political interests will always tie down to a certain group of people making good money because politics is a business for people unaona so as long as it will be politicized the intentions will be overshadowed lakini cbc by the iko too sour like hata ukiangalia hiyo curriculum ina ina create value out of yani it, it is it is designed with the student in mind unaona lakini sasa wase wenye wana implement wase wenye wana kikisha hii plan inakuwa rolled out ndio wako na shida jua wanataka kutengeneza pesa yao au ni watu wako biashara ni watu wako politics so to fix the political deficit in the cbc curriculum i believe it has the potential to impacting our country greatly so to mention tu kitu kimoja tu kile unaona ni major yenye nafanya cbc like a, uh, in a fail decision ile, making ile, ile tu major yeah decision making like inachukua time to make decisions zenye zina implement hii kitu kai na ku implemented iko implemented na tusonge Unaona tuanze ku reap benefits zake. Lakini every time tuna take three steps ahead with CBC, tuna take four steps back. Unai push forward lakini kuna watu bado wanai push back. Unaona like budget inakuwa approved iende. Inafika mali kwa officials fulani wanaona wanaweza tengeneza pesa yao so inapigwa mlima hapo hivyo inarudi nyuma na while all this is happening kuna wanafunzi wako shule wenye academic calendar yao haismami unaona cause decision making ikichukua miezi tatu ku happen that is already one quarter of the year tushagonga imeisha hiyo ni tamu nzima tusha waste na sasa hii tamu yenye tusha waste kwa kwa ku make decision moja ime affect wanafunzi wote wenye wako kwa hii curriculum cause academic calendar yao sasa imekuwa pushed forward with an entire term na hiyo si kitu yenye unaweza rectify in the near future 
Unaona? So kani kitu inadisaidiwa, idisaidiwa na tusonge. Watu wache kukua na selfish interests. Watu wache kutaka kutengeneza pesa yao kutoka kwa hika reclam. Na tu move tu na ayo. Na kama pia hatutaki move, tu decide. Tuachane tu na ayo, igonge, igonge stop. Turudi 844. Point yangu ni mwanafunzi ya progress. At no point should we have the student uh, taking the blunt for undecisiveness of the leaders in charge of the curriculum. Una get point yangu? Nakupata. Yeah. So uh, uli maliza high school. From there ulifanya nini? Kwanza before ni maliza high school kuna kitu profound sana ili happen in yes that ni kitu na zaruka. My dad passed on. Yeah, sorry for that. My dad passed on at nikiwa form 3 before ningie before ningie form 4. So hiyo ili Sorry for that mwaka ili impact um ili impact life yangu sana because that man was my best friend like sana you guy like i am mokaya junior because he was mokaya senior unaona that is how proud i am of what that man was in my life but uh, very unfortunately which is the nature of life unaona twezi question that's the good thing about being a christian um car accident Mombasa Road uh, he passed on very um un- unceremoniously and um at that point in time the clarity of direction that my life had got lost i wasn't clear about anything anymore that is in form 3 yeah that was in form 3 so into form 4 uh Yaani like, 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 like eh, nilikuwa nimedirail tu yani sikuwa sikuwa na papa sikuwa na <coughs> ju one really huge thing of why i used to you know um function like i used to in high school was the thought that siku moja nitamaliza budango alikuwa ga taxi driver bro mm-hmm. um, uko Nairobi eh Nairobi tu alikuwa na operator hapa hivi UST and hiyo ndio ili to sustain um, in our life yani until tukafika penye you know god aka decide otherwise goal yangu all along ilikuwa gamanze ninunulie umzae tu gari yake sikuwa na goal nyingine in life hiyo tu ndio ilikuwa ga goal yangu like cuz uh, taxi driver alikuwa anafanyia na kazi unaona but sasa mimi nilikuwa na believe kujifanyia kazi ndio ina progressisha mtu in life you get so me hata nikiwa mtoi siko najua siko najua vile ninge make it happen lakini nilikuwa najua i want to buy this man his own vehicle so gari yake like si gari yenye lazima ulipe mtu end of month cause nakumbuka alikuwa na alikuwa na alikuwa na return na bado yeye ndiye ana fuel hiyo gari ni so gari yake hata nikiwa mtoi yani nilikuwa tu like dad siku moja nitakuwa mkubwa nitakubaya gari yako hiyo ilikuwa ga dream yangu so wakati ile pass sikuwa na purpose nili lose purpose so i had to you know nilipitia nili mention nili mention depression it was around that time that i first encountered depression although at that age sikuwa na journey depression unaona like nili come to understand later on in life that yo by the this was actually me de- being depressed eh? um ili affect school life yangu sana ili affect uh, talent yangu sana um and into form 4 ile clarity nilikuwa nayo in life up to form 3 siku kwa nayo unaona which i think contributed like sana na mi ku derail kutoka class ya nini kakuwa tu rui in short yani uh, si semi at that but that played a really huge role in that ju sikuwa na jeleo enimo ulikuwa unaona sasa hakuna mtu utanunulia eh hey, like like eh sasa niko na purpose gani in life unaona na sasa uh, uh, nani alikuwa nakulipia fee after dada me pass this is politician um ndio we need to have more of these people in power and it's a team wanyonyi Team, team Wanyonyi uh-huh. team Wanyonyi is uh Saizi Saizi I think the sitting um MP, MP for Westlands West it is him yeah, yeah, it's it true yeah. Manze team Kanyagia my school fees you guy Ako na hii program anapianga mabasari eh, za wa mother apo hivyo senti 
za wamama wenye wako na chama so my mom happens to be one of those chama ladies and uh akona biz anafanya so as in like so you sustain your chama kwa chama this guy comes and just gives funding to to support them to support these women to support their projects the initiatives and part of this support is school bursaries so through his foundation the team onyonyi foundation umsema nzeli kanyagia school fees yangu na okay. that is true mama eh, that is true mama sasa so kwa sababu eh. ndi kwa nataka eh, tulete picha ya mama tujue mama yes ya, yes yes true mama mama eh. guy by the eh, cause no vile 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 naongele hivi up to this phase ni dad ndio ndio nime capitalize on lakini hata hata hii support ya kuendelea sasa past this time junajua mama at this point mom ni baby girl bro unaona like sasa simu, at this point simwangalie kama ni yeye ndiye anafaa ku support na muangalia ka ni sisi ndio tunafaa ku support you will get you she's widowed alafu sisi ni machali kwetu now we are the fathers of the home si muangalie ka support system yangu ni mimi najiangalia ka support system yake unaelewa difference ndio maana sija mention up to this point because as far as i'm concerned my mom is my girlfriend my mom is my princess my mom is you know my queen the like yeye yeah, ndio the baby girl in our life na yeye yeah, ndio basically sasa eh, si, tulikuwa watoto wake before dada pass vile dada li pass ni yeye alikuwa mtoto wetu Unaelewa? Hivyo yeah. sasa ndio mimi nimekuwa niki passive ever since. Ndio maana sija ndio maana hata iko kwa kile that ni yeye ndiye alitu sustain. But through mom ndio cause yeye kuko kwa hiyo chama and a team like Nining. So as in like I, I I am more invested in the male figures in my life than but she's been a really huge role because hata mimi ku kuko present vile niko sasa hizi by the ni yeye unaona like ni endio emotional support ni endio eh, unajua kio celebro eh, uwezi uh, unaga mabest ya kupigia ukio ukio stack wacha kizile call za eh, cheki bro unahitaji karua bemanze uko na hiyo do hizo <laughs> calls ni mamangu napigianga juu endio ananijua unaona